What is up guys, it's Omi here and welcome to a brand new Premier League transfer news video. In this video we will talk about all the kinds of uh, Premier League transfers that could happen in the summer transfer window and let me know guys who do you want your favorite club to sign in the comments below. What's your transfer wish list and no matter which Premier League club you support I want to hear your opinion so I'm really really looking forward to reading your comments. The biggest news is that Andoan Griezmann will most likely sign for Manchester United if they manage to win the Europa League final and qualify for the Champions League in the process. And actually, Antoine Griezmann, uh, before this news, hasn't publicly admitted that uh, he would be interested in a move uh, to Manchester United, but he appeared on a French television program quo called Quotidien or something like that. And when he was asked about Griezmann moving to Manchester United, he said, possible, possible. And then he, quest uh, he was uh, questioned, uh, what are the chances of him joining? And he said, six out of ten, which means that it's, uh, it's quite likely that that will happen. And I think it's only six out of ten because Griezmann, you know, is thinking about his options and also Atletico Madrid puts a, put a contract on the table and now Atletico Madrid will surely panic and offer a lot more money in that uh, contract to compete with Manchester United and also Griezmann most likely wants to see whether Manchester United qualify for the Champions League or not. I think the biggest, uh, you know, uh, worry for Atletico Madrid is that Ad that Manchester United can just blow themselves, blow Atletico Madrid out of the water, water with a much bigger and much better contract. And you could argue that Atletico Madrid has been the more successful club in the past four years. They always made the Champions League semi-finals. They played two Champions League finals. But the big problem. They only won one Spanish league title and I say only, it's a magnificent achievement, heads off to Atletico Madrid, but Griezmann, you know, is thinking about joining a club who could win a lot more trophies and titles. I'm not sure if Man United realistically could do that, but they definitely have the spending power to build an amazing team and Mourinho has always done that, uh, spent incredible amounts of money. So it's at the moment I think a 50-50 whether Griezmann has a better chance of winning trophies at Atletico or when winning trophies at Man United. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So he said uh, when he was asked, uh, uh, are you saying that there is a possibility of going to Manchester United? He said yes, so he knows exactly what he was doing. Uh, Griezmann also said, I should know more in the next two weeks. And he also say, rated his chances of staying at Atletico Madrid as a 7, while saying it would be impossible to play uh, for Zinedine Zinan and Real Madrid. Um, and he is a big admirer of David Beckham and the number 7 shirt, formerly you know, of Manchester United. And we know that Anton Griezmann's brother is actually a massive Manchester United fan and he has been, you know, uh, quoting this interview on Twitter with big smiley faces. So I'm sure that Griezmann's brother wants Griezmann to, to move to Manchester United. And also Guillaume Balaguer, who is a very expected Spanish journalist, play, w works for Sky Sports. He said that um, Griezmann would join Manchester United if they qualified for the Champions League. Balaguer told Sky Sports and I quote, I've got the impression if United are in the Champions League, he will join them. Man United are willing to pay the 100 million euros, which is 87 million pounds for his buyout clause. And you can see that United have almost unlimited amounts of money to spend in the transfer window and that is that is crazy that is scary stuff because they could they could sign Pogba in one transfer window they could sign Griezmann for a similar like 80 87 million pounds in the next transfer window Pogba I think cost 89 million pounds um, and Griezmann, this is the key here, Balaguer says Griezmann sees Man United in the medium term at least as a candidate to win the Premier League and the Champions League because of the money that will be invested into the side. So obviously Man United at the moment are not ready to challenge for the Premier League and the Champions League title. But if, we could, if they bring in three or four really big players, they could definitely challenge for, for those titles. Uh, 
He obviously, and Balagay says this, and I quote, he obviously wasn't innocent when he said what he said to the French television. Uh, we have seen the images. He quietly, he quite clearly meant to do this. When he was asked, you know, out of 10, he rated 6 as uh, the chances of going to Man United. Uh, that number is not higher than 6 because he's waiting to see whether Man United make the Champions League. And Balagay has a big point here, and I fully agree with him. Balagay also said if they do not, he will still think about it. Meanwhile, what that means is that Atletico uh, have panicked and will put even more money on the table to try and keep Griezmann. So either way, Griezmann is in a very good position uh, here. He scored 83 goals in 160 games for Atletico Madrid. He's only 26 years old, so he has one goal every two games, which is a brilliant return. And uh, he actually is, I think, in the top five attackers, top five strikers in the world mm, and also this is very interesting to hear Balagi's quote uh, uh, about uh, you know Atletico Madrid's uh, potential so he said and I quote he knows Atletico Madrid have a, lim a limit which could be dictated by FIFA's transfer ban or if the ban is lifted they may go for Lacazette they may go for other strikers but would that be enough to to be to win titles to win trophies that's the question mark Griezmann is putting on Atletico Madrid the debate in his mind has been do I stay with a solid team but generally in the medium term who cannot compete financially with the top clubs or do I go with a club who will and be able to financially compete with anybody and that's the question Griezmann uh, has to decide that's the decision that he has to make so if you were under on Griezmann and you didn't support either Atletico or Man United, which club would you go to? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to know. And it's a, certainly a scary, scary scenario if Griezmann joins Man United and if they sign, you know, a really good centre midfielder who could, uh, you know, maybe um, be more of a goal scorer and also if we can sign, if they can sign maybe a good winger, then Man United can certainly compete for the trophies and uh, Manchester United are also interested in Everton midfielder Ross Barkley according to the Daily Mirror but Tottenham are also interested in him. Ross Barkley is uh, most likely will leave Everton he doesn't want to sign a new contract at Everton and uh, uh, Ronald Koeman the Everton manager himself said that if Barkley doesn't sign he will be sold. He's only 23 years old and uh, he only has one year left on his contract, so if Everton want to get any money for, for him, they need to sell now. And Everton are not in a financial position to afford losing Barkley, one of their best players, on a free transfer. So he could be available for around 20 million. And I think they he, Barkley would definitely improve Man United. I'm not sure where he would get into the Tottenham team because they have Dele Alli, Eriksen, two players who are similar to Barkley and I think both are better than Barkley in my honest opinion. <laughs> the Neymar to Man United crazy transfer river surfaces again according to Diario Goal. I'm not sure which newspaper that is but they, they are saying that Man United could sign Neymar from Barcelona if they are willing to pay his whopping 170 million pound release clause but the crazy thing is that Man United could actually afford signing Neymar for that amount of money they wouldn't go bankrupt that's how much money they have in the bank they could spend 300 million on transfers in one tra summer transfer window without actually facing financial difficulty which is just crazy it's just it's just insane in, in my opinion Renato Sanchez and Douglas Costa is also two players they are also two players who Man United are interested in they haven't enjoyed the best season at Bayern Munich and uh, because they haven't played regularly they are both looking uh, maybe to leave I would love Liverpool to sign Douglas Costa I'm not sure if uh, we have any chance of him of getting him but, you know, we have Champions League football now and Jurgen Klopp is a big name manager so maybe we could tempt Douglas Costa. Renato Sanchez almost went to Man United um, in the end he signed for Bayern but he is not playing reg that regularly so it will be very interesting to see who, who gets these players and also Mbappe is another player who is heavily linked with Manchester United. Uh, Man United are willing to pay uh, 
the same amount of money for Mbappé as they would for Griezmann but in my opinion Mbappé is not worth that much because we don't know what his highest ceiling is at the moment so I think uh, United should concentrate on trying to get Griezmann if they can so that will be very interesting and uh, I will have a Liverpool transfer news video up for you guys probably tomorrow with a very interesting uh, transfer news and uh, Jurgen Klopp will most likely spend over 100 million pounds in the summer so really excited to see who Liverpool get but I, it's also fascinating to see who other clubs get in the Premier League and I think Jose Mourinho will try to build a super team at Manchester United he doesn't really care about developing young players uh, really he just wants to sign the finished article to give uh, the best possible chance for him to win trophies that's what he cares about the most so let me know what do you think about these transfer news and um, and yeah interestingly uh, Lanzini is on the radar of Chelsea I don't think he's on the level of Chelsea in my opinion where would he play I mean he wouldn't he isn't even better than Villian and Villian has been on the bench for Chelsea for most of this season so I, I don't think um, I don't think Lanzini would be a good option for Chelsea as a squad player he would be maybe a good option for Arsenal or Liverpool or even Tottenham but he wouldn't certainly get into the starting eleven of any of those teams. And Antonio Conte doesn't want Diego Costa, his main striker, his top scorer, to go to China. So he's fighting to keep Diego Costa at Chelsea. But the amount of money that Diego Costa is being offered uh, from uh, Chinese clubs is insan insanity. It's mental. So I don't think... Uh, Antonio Conte will be able to keep Costa at Chelsea, but we shall wait and see. And also Chelsea and Bayern Munich um, and Manchester City want to sign fullback Kyle Walker, who hasn't been happy with Tottenham's uh, rotation policy. Pochettino has been rotating Walker and Trippier and on the right back spot, and uh, because of this, Walker missed some big games playing for not playing for Tottenham in some big games, and that upset him. So maybe he's looking likely to leave. I would love him to join Liverpool in my opinion, He's on the, but we, you know, signing a right back is not a priority for us, I think we most likely will try to sign a, a left back and a centre back and a centre midfielder and a left winger, so lots of other you know, positions to fill for Liverpool before we should look at right back, but let me know what you think and thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this, see you later, goodbye! Thank you